from the frozen tundras of the Alpha Flight landscape, all the way down to the mutant haven of Utopia, we want to hear your nerd shout, and today, we're shouting about S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> This is Kevin Becker coming at you through the interwebs with the rest of the Nerd Shout team. And you know what? I'm wondering, who are they? Who are you? Hey guys, it's Demetrius Hartman. Welcome back to Nerd Shout. Let's talk about this episode because it's pretty fucking sick. Hey gang, Mark Cirillo here. I have nothing clever to say. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Caleb Dixeri. It's really great to be back this week. I hope you didn't miss me too much. Thank you all for joining us again for our Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. After Show right here on Nerd Shout. All right, I'm going to come up with a different way to say it every week. Nerd Shout nerd Network. Nerd Shout. Nerd Shout Social Network. Nerd Shout. Yep. yep. So, nerd yeah. Shout Social uh, Media Network. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys. But thank you guys very much for coming back. Let's talk about this newest episode of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of big stuff happening. Moving forward yeah. with the... <laughs> With, no, okay, with the we're, spotlight. we're in a good place, no, guys. We're in a great place. <laughs> Especially Mark. Um, well, so. you're just like you're like into the intro, and then you're like moving forward, and I was like, we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> then it would have to be forward. Um, so, one of the first things I want to talk about before we dive in, there's a lot of inhuman stuff to talk about, but yes, let's so go much. ahead and talk about so we much. had um, a bit of a stall, let's call it, in the real shield. We mm -hmm. got to see more interaction with between uh, Gonzalez and our normal team. Yeah. Him working with May and May being amazing, like always. Yep. Um, <laughs> amazing May. But let's talk about Bobby for a second. I was just going to say, I think Bobby's always amazing, and I know you've changed your opinion on her. You're done with her. I No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> I'm not done with her. And I was almost done with Simmons until she, you know, turned Yeah, around, we were saying that, around. actually, so right with good. that. Yeah, I know we're we'll jumping to that ahead, actually. but... But, but so Bobby, I, oh I'm God. fighting for Bobby. Like I, I Bobby. she's clearly the one that has the most reservations mm -hmm. about what they've done. But only, but because of how it's affecting yeah. people mm -hmm. that she's connected with and yeah. worked well, with, and knows are good people. Worlds. And Here's, she knows they're good. They weren't doing anything wrong. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm actually surprised that Bobby is still on the Gonzalez train at the end of this episode. I was ready seeing her responses right. and her reactions for her to just be like, screw you, Edward James, almost, and be like, whoa, you broke character. What's happening? <laughs> it might, it I'm out of here. It, that might be coming, or it might be that this is where she's going to be. She's going to be riding the line the whole time because Maybe. which is she understands both sides. Like She gets both sides right. and is just trying to do what's best for the world, yeah. the world. <laughs> which I to think is save really the world. Yeah, and I think I mean like with this course that they've taken with her character, I I can I, I can almost from my perspective guarantee that she's going to be in the next season. Oh yeah, of the oh, show. oh yeah. yeah. Like unless they move her to the movies and then she doesn't come. Right. Back. Like yeah, they're just like she, you know what don't we do realize she's a movie star. <laughs> Not yet. At least one more year of Mockingbird on this show. Yeah. She she elevates it a lot. Yeah. And I really love I really her. love this line that she's treading. It's almost like kind of having this you know, Spider Man in Civil War kind of mm -hmm. being, yeah. you know, pulled into both sides. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I really yeah, love exactly. that with her. She's yeah. a great character and yeah, just keep it going. Guys. Kayla. Oh dear Kayla, what do you think about Bobby and where she's gonna stand? On the uh, shield versus shield combat currently going on. Hitler. Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! 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 This whole like Bobby and um, Bobby situation on Angel Shield, I really, l I'm really loving to see that Bobby ultimately like is not liking what Gonzalez is doing. Uh, once she last the last episode, she did stand up for Sky and. I wasn't in last week's after show, which really like broke my heart a little bit because that moment with Sky and when she all oh, it was intense. But this week's episode, this week's episode, focus, focus. Um, I really love to see that um, Bobby is standing up for Sky and she is standing up for Coulson and his team and his and Coulson's morals. Like Gonzalez is doing this thing where he's always trying to justify his actions by uh, demeaning Coulson a little, uh, Coulson more and more, especially this week when he mentioned. Um, 
that Coulson should be added to the index because of the DGH325, I can't remember the numbers, I think I got it right, um, that's in his blood. I'm just now he's considered to be something that would be added to the index, which makes a little bit of sense, but kind of not any sense. I don't know. Um, but Bobby will stick around with, I think, I believe that Bobby will stick around after this whole real shield business is done. Bobby's going to stick around with Coulson's team. I mean, she is a series regular, so we have to take that into consideration. Plus, the thing I've been trying to theorize in my head and kind of come up it, come up with is like, um, I, I, I strongly believe, obviously, that Coulson's going to get back shield and control of shield, but something has to happen there, like, afterwards. Like, what's going to happen with Gonzalez? Like, what's the fallout that's going to happen? I mean, um, we talked about, I think we briefly talked about, like, in two after shows ago, or I don't know, one of the after shows we briefly talked about, about um, Real Shield possibly becoming something else. I don't know, but um, I guess that's that's a discussion for later. But I'm really trying to come up with something in my head that... Um, would make sense of like gun, what ha, what will happen to Gonzalez after Coulson does get back control of Shield. But for now, with the whole Bobby situation and real Shield, Bobby's seeing their true colors, so she's definitely on um, Coulson's side. I think that's actually a really good point. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's why I think that that Gonzalez is more than meets the eye. He is in fact a transformer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what if we find out that he's an LMD that didn't know about it? Yeah, it's like one of those things that I... That's why I think, because I don't believe that the two of them can cohabitate the Earth, you know? With that, him and Coulson? You mean they can't... Yeah, like, you can't have both of them in one shield. Yeah. Like, that can't... Yeah. yeah. Well, like you did before it fell, You but... did, but you had a fury... You had, you had a fury on top of them. Like, exactly. you had... Exactly. You were playing them both yeah. for whatever reason. I guess we'll find out. And now you've got point. both of them vying for control. Are you playing them, though? I, just, I don't think don't he's playing know. them right now. I think that, like... I think Gonzalez is playing a bunch of people. Yeah. You like, think, I really like, this that. real shield thing is a whole charade? There's something... He's so anti. He's so yeah. anti powers that there's just there's some I don't know something. What there. do you guys think Gonzalez yeah. is up to? We'd love to hear it. Um, He's been a silent. Yeah, let us know your little theories. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> Spoiler! I haven't watched Farscape. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm on a nerd shout network. People just broke uh, their computers. <laughs> I have watched Battlestar. They've got it on Netflix, right? So yeah. go watch it. Exactly. Yeah. Watch both of them. Uh, so, since we're talking about Real Shield, uh, let's go ahead and talk about my absolute favorite moment of the episode. We'll stay with the humans before oh. we go to the inhumans. Okay. It's the return of Fitzsimmons. Yes. It was golden. It was pure gold. Yay! Pure gold. To Fitzsimmons. Cheers, Cheers to Fitzsimmons <laughs> being back. Oh, I loved it. Oh. Here's the thing. I love them. Like family. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you started like you were You're so now you just stopped after and it was I love you. And it was beautiful. Like the, the switch, uh, and then the sandwich. Oh. The sandwich. Well, the sandwich. But, but like, because it went the... back to an episode that was like, uh, it was okay back in the first season. Yeah. And it just took a line that was something that was really, put yeah. back then mm -hmm. and brought it back. Yeah. And it made it significant but that for the whole, whole storyline. Sequence of events with Fitz and mm -hmm. Simmons where she gets the idea for the plan. Mm -hmm. He then realizes what the like that yeah. whole like sequence yeah. and, and it then means, like then not getting what each other need and like it was like okay now Fitzsimmons is his own shield yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah they, now they are team. they're breaking apart just this is what we said like yeah. shield Fitzsimmons shield Fitzsimmons shield the real <laughs> shield. shield. Uh, Ward uh, 33 Shield. Yeah. Ward's Warriors. Like, Ward's, yeah, Ward's Warriors. Um, and, and then the Lincoln Lobbyists that you want which to start. Is, yeah, well, that was, they don't know about this yet. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm we haven't gotten in. to Lincoln yet. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, right, yeah, right. I'm going to start my own Twitter with, uh, with uh, <laughs> the real in, Lincoln. In the vein of Ward's Warriors, which is going to be just <laughs> for <Lincoln>. lobbyists <laughs> for Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Uh, <laughs> yeah, four score. Um, but here's the thing. <laughs> I, I loved this because it 
we were we were watching it and the scene where he picks up the the toolbox and he's uh, you want me to leave and Mark's like I think they're acting but I'm not sure and here's what I'm thinking that they did if it is a biometric opener that they mm. need a DNA sequence he made sure to pick it up because mm -hmm. he knew he was going to take it so that she could put his uh, his DNA strand in it so yeah. that it would recognize him as an authorized user. But he's not authorized. But she, if she can figure, if she's figuring it out, because she was sending him the, the like, hey, I'm working on this program. The beta, yeah. She, she could, could reconfigure yeah, it. To by him person. touching it, she could theoretically get into the system and go this and give him access gotcha. so that he can have it. Which I'm wondering, how did he know to do that? It's because <laughs> Fitz is back, baby. Because they're That's geniuses. what it is. Fitz is fucking back, and I'm so happy about that. Like, because at first we were thinking he was like switching the boxes, but I'm pretty sure that he only got it because because he Simmons did do that weird juggling thing. But mm -hmm. we did all get to see it. Yeah, so yeah but Simmons put it in his bag. He's, yeah. he's evolved though into a, a, a slightly different character. It's like a Simmons. It's like a Fitz 2.0. Yeah. Well, because. He's recovered. We've talked about He's how recovered Simmons from... has changed this season as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we were just right before this scene happened. Mm -hmm. We were like, "Don't like her anymore." I was it's still over. Her. Yeah, I yeah. was still with her. No, no I know. I was still enjoying. Trying. I just wanted to see. Where I love it went. my Fitzsimmons. Yeah, and even if they go through some hard times, <laughs> you have to stay with them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> through good and bad, sickness and unhealth. <laughs> Kayla, we're married to them. Mm. What's your response <laughs> to the uh, the switch Simmons that happened? I know yeah, you're another episode. big Fitz Simmons, Simmons person. I'm gonna so combine. I'm gonna blew combine your words too. What do you think, kiddo? Oh, Fitz Simmons. I think all of us were just super happy inside when Fitz Simmons was them was their usual sel selves again. It's just the thing that. Um, I mean, is this going to last for the long haul or is this just like a temporary thing because they obviously needed to like come together to try to get out of the situation with real shield. So I'm really interested in seeing if like this whole Fitzsimmons dynamic is permanent or they're just like ignoring their problems for now and they're going to deal with it later. I don't know, but I love it. Um, all of us love it, especially that sandwich situation was hilarious. Um, the thing that I'm wondering though, I felt like, um, you guys mentioned it. I felt like Mac did, um, smell a little bit of bullshit when, um, Fitz and Simmons were doing their whole spiel and a whole like argument. I, I felt like Mac probably knew a little bit. Maybe he wasn't completely convinced and Mac and Fitz are friends and well, well, used to be friends, but Mac cares about Fitz. So... I'm wondering if Fitz is going to end up, I mean, not Fitz, if Mac is going to, um, or did, put a tracker on Fitz and just to keep an eye on him. And when they figure out that the um, toolbox is gone, uh, Mac will go after Fitz. Uh, maybe that's a possibility, but um, I guess we won't find out until uh, next episode. Mm. Oh, I yeah. like that. I like that a lot. Um what? Now I just said the same thing. I know. I, <laughs> yeah, but we weren't recording when you said it. <laughs> so, Mark, why do you like it? Oh, um, well, I, I liked that she brought up the Mac thing, because there did yeah. seem like a moment where at the end of that whole scene with Simmons being like, oh, we can't do this, and they were, they look at each other and they're like, we just got played. Like, it's almost like, do you like think Mac that and Bobby might, it? they might. But you never know with the weird verse. The it could have just been a look, and then it could have just been like a just like Bobby, a, Bobby, a, yeah. a sign. Bobby yeah. gave three looks during this episode. She gave the look of she gave a look when fit when Simmons was willing to join Shield when she was like <laughs> right. maybe we have to. There was a knowing look. Like, there was a strange. look after the 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 fake out that she she seemed to recognize something. I think Bobby knows, and I don't think Bobby cares. I think no. she's like, well, let's just I see agree. where this goes. I, totally I, think, I think Bobby's watching the man who she trusted start to be what they're standing against. There's a lot going on here that it just seems like Gonzalez is not sharing with people, and that's their biggest complaint about Nick Fury. So the fact that he's doing it is got to be a red flag to her. Right. I mean, like, because he... he, he very much resembles everything that they're supposed to be going against. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, all the secrecy and everything, the fact right. that he, we, he went behind their backs. I don't think that, like, our S.H.I.E.L.D. would have held back if they knew that there were other S.H.I.E.L.D. 
agents out there that yeah, they could connect with. He try to join them and try try to create this. Yeah, this where it feels like he's been them. sitting back and watching them, which is also just creepy. Like, yeah, and, and there's yeah. Like, like a lurky, creepy. There's level also the point on. that one of their board members went after a fellow Shield agent with a live ammo gun last week. Yeah, and we get to see Coulson not to. put away a live action, gu- a live mm-hmm. ammo gun. Like there, there are great parallels being drawn. Yeah. But okay. we've talked enough about the humans, really I think. Point. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I think so. I, oh, I, think, I think it's time. Okay. I think yeah. it's time think that we can, we get back yeah. into the inhuman arts. It's time. We have gone to afterlife. We have gone to <sighs> uh, the inhuman. Tra- Talking about afterlife. <laughs> Sky's mom is back. She is. Yes. But before we get yes. to Sky's mom, I was just gonna say, are we ready? To start? <laughs> We're not. Uh, before we get to Sky's mom, there's obviously something bigger going on with this whole scenario. Yeah. Many of you tweeted to us talking about Gordon. Some uh, uh, we, we've called creepy and and big, and he is. There's a lot more to Gordon this episode that the is meets the eye. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going. Just yeah. don't. There's a lot more to Gordon this episode <laughs> that is more insidious <laughs> than we would have. I'm just I'm not even going to acknowledge it. Than, than we have no, seen before. We have seen a very caring, very nurturing Gordon to this point, who, yes, uh, is apparently not Reader. I, I've been saying reader for a long time. I haven't read Uncanny and Humans yet. I haven't gotten a chance to. Mm. Um, but it was pointed out to us that there is a character in Uncanny and Humans whose name yeah. is Gordon. He's got no eyes. Okay. Now, that's a weird It was very. <laughs> I, I was very surprised that that actually happened. That yeah. He went so kind of under the radar as an introduction of such an important character now in, in, in the, the show. In the, yeah. But it, I'm glad that they introduced him. Yeah. I still wish it could have been Reader. Because that yeah, would have been a really cool. cool character to kind of like have him even evolve mm-hmm. into Somehow throughout the and show. see how it would tie into everything yeah. else. But we'll, we'll see where it goes. Because uh, there's a lot going on. And it might be that they have film And it's also a Reader. cinematic universe. So yeah. they could combine those two characters. Oh, you absolutely. You don't know. They can yeah. combine the characters. They, they can bring the other stuff. character. Yeah. Because if he's one that finds other... like. In humans out there in the world, I'm sure that there are probably other groups of yeah. humans out there that have a similar way of tracking others. Mm-hmm. It seems like there. It seems like it definitely is. Like I don't think these guys are connected to the royal family that we'll see in the film. Exactly, and Reader is more linked to directly the royal to family. The royal yeah, family, that's why I'm so. thinking he's probably. Oh, maybe in they're the film. T- telling us that there's a lot of characters like Reader. Maybe, that maybe. yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. We're finding out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah, what I mean. Exactly. But the interesting thing about it is there's obviously something bigger going on. They're hiding things from Sky. Lincoln, who we've just now met, is being super evasive. And you want to love him, but yeah, he was being a little evasive. And And it brings us to our first question from the Twitter box. (laughs) Twitter box. Yeah. All right, this comes from more times. at KJ McDude, and uh, KJ <laughs> asks, so does this mean that the Inhumans Genetic Council are the elders that Lincoln was talking about? So we hear about these elders, and we hear about how they keep people safe, and they're... Do we think that the genetic council, and what do they think, and what do we think they're up to? Um, I'm starting to feel, and I mean, I think this that's why I favorite. brought that's why I brought up uh, Sky's mom first because I'm so excited she's back. I think she is the equivalent of their genetic co- council of this mm-hmm. group's genetic council, if uh, not, if not, like the entire member, the entire you know group of people, because she's just one person. You know, um, then maybe she is part of the, the actual genetic council in the comic books, mm-hmm. but she represents this group of Inhumans, I think, and that's why she said to Cal's, "No." She made the final decision when mm-hmm. she says, "Can I see her?" She just said, "No." She said it very cold. Yeah, yeah. So she is a person that's making clearly <laughs> end of making scene. the decision. <laughs> yeah, exactly. End of scene. <laughs> she's the person making the decisions yeah. in this in, in this place. So. I think that she is uh, who we're going with. I think I think we're dealing with an isolationist government, with people who maybe with you know people who maybe aren't as isolationist. I was having a conversation on on the YouTube comments on last week's episode mm. about I don't want them to be bad guys. We made the uh, the right. um, parallel between I would prefer them to be the Xavier Institute versus the Brotherhood of Evil, right. um, which are not my words, but uh, were a commenters. Um, and I agree with that. I don't mind if their leadership is flawed and scared and hides and is a little insidious that way, but I don't want everyone. Like, Lincoln's obviously doing his job. 
Yeah, he's that's doing what, it, what he thinks to keep people safe. Yeah. And doing it well. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark. pro Lincoln. LincolnLobbyist.com. No. But I mean, uh, like, he didn't, like, the, like we realized how evasive he was being in the yeah. comment mm-hmm. that he's he very made. very suave but, in the way that he was But it was doing. so smooth. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But even so Sky, that's what I meant. a spy, yeah. didn't but, notice it. So I, I think that they're not, there's, they're, I don't think that they're evil at this point. No, I think they're scared. They're either scared or they've 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 grown to be so isolationist mm-hmm. to be like another part living in parallel to the rest of humanity that it serves them much better yeah. to, you know, not live out in the open. Mm. Which is I think is interesting right now because the groups that we have like Real Shield, Shield, and the Inhumans, it feels like all of these teams, what they seem to be setting up is that they all think they're doing the right thing. Yes. Right. Like, they Absolutely. all think they're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I think is really interesting. Um, and so none of them are necessarily bad or wrong yeah. right now. They just have this order. That's why they have the royal family as well. They yeah. have this kind of order, hierarchy, um, or oligarchy, if you and will. And I have a question about that, because I'm not super well-versed on humans. So, like, is the royal family, like, is is there a bunch of inhuman communities that are isolationist in the comic books? Well, they're, they live like, among... I mean, that are separated in the comic books, but then, like, there's a royal family that kind of keeps track of all of them? Essentially. Or? Like, they come, from, they come from a very long bloodline of very pure in, in, you know, inhumans from, from the very past, from the very mm-hmm. beginning of the first experiments that existed. And so that's why, that's kind of what makes them different. So they get to, not just them, but the genetic council pick uh, very finely which genes get passed oh, on. Oh, right, right, right. That's, that's right. We that's talked it about that yeah. before, yeah. Sorry for people that <laughs> knew that or just cut it out completely. <laughs> <laughs> it's staying in. It's Education. Staying in. <laughs> Kayla, do you want to weigh in? What do you think is going on with the uh, with the Inhuman leaders? Are they isolationists? Are they jerk bags? Are they puppets on jerk strings? Jerk bag, jerk bags. Are you even still awake? Um, I think the Inhumans for now are looking to isolate themselves. They're definitely, they definitely want to keep it a secret because, um, uh, I mean, especially with like what happened with Sky's mom and how she was like dissected on, uh, dissected and experimented on. Um, I definitely think that that's probably, that's probably something they had to deal, they have to have dealt with before. So they want to keep themselves isolated and protected and hidden away from other humans because I'm pretty sure um, it's I'm pretty sure they're I don't know if they're afraid uh, they're probably afraid I take that back I think um, the Inhumans whoever's controlling them which I'm guessing is the, the the elders or the genetic council I think they definitely want to keep the Inhumans isolated. Uh, but we know that's gonna not gonna last very long because we do have an Inhumans movie coming coming out in a few years. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I a hundred percent agree. Now, since we're talking about the Inhumans, we cannot skip over the giant revelation that is Sky's mom yeah. still being around. And one of the big questions on our Twitter box, we got several versions of this question. So let's go ahead and check it out. The one I want to read because it has so many reactions in it, mm. and I love it. it comes from at Theo F. Simon. And Theo says, Barely alive. How is Sky's mother alive? Two question marks. I'm so happy about it, but how? Two question marks. How do you think Sky will find out? Single question mark. Well, she's going to tell him. So here's the deal. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think it's going to happen next episode. I think it's going to happen next episode because she says, I want a couple days with you, and if you don't feel a connection worth exploring... But the, the, the question is, we discussed this a little bit last episode, how is she still here? Well, and this is what I said last episode, mm-hmm. that I think that she has the equivalent of the healing factor that um, Wolverine has, and that's what helped her Rip grow. Rip bubble. Or I was just going to say Coulson because survived I also, I also, death. What I also Why wanted to be the same way? Exactly. That's what I also wanted to add. Because, they're, because they were created by the Kree as well, I, I'd assume that they either have access to Cree te- other Cree technology or possibly even Cree blood which is what the GH325 formula was made out of and that's what they used to bring back Coulson. So they could have just as well used that to regrow organs, vital organs and stuff like that. But she didn't come out on skates. She has a few scars even though she looks super gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> I do not think it's a healing factor and it's because of those scars. You think so? I was thinking the scars. I was like if there's a healing factor then the- she wouldn't have the scars. Because I'd say, though... She looks like a Frankenstein monster, but she looks like she was put back together, and I think that's a conscious choice. 
Yeah, like I was gonna say, because she was like skinned basically, and like they mm-hmm. took all of her organs out of her. And because what I was gonna say is that, like for example, Wade Wilson, Deadpool, he's covered in scars. His healing, his healing factor is not does not repair or replenish the skin. That Wade's healing factor. Been... Wade's healing factor was given to him later, wasn't it? I mean, it could have equally have have cured though though yeah. that it was that like stuff. given to him so he would but survive. not all of them not all of the scars are created a lot of the scars mm-hmm. remain basically his tish, tissue regrows but you still see the marks on yeah him. that's why he's constantly always covered yeah as well i don't i don't know i feel like she she was put back together i feel like that perhaps she's needed or I mean, if I'm gonna look at this super scientifically, mm. which is what I did last episode, <laughs> if she is put back together, she has had, what are we aging Sky at? 20 some years? Sure. Let's say mid 20, like a 20 and a half years around. No. So. Daisy didn't like that answer. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy's, Daisy's like, she's science. like, ah, oh, she's no. 30 years a day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my dog chimed in. <laughs> she she just groans day. when she's unhappy. Yeah. She doesn't agree. Um, <laughs> I'm lost it. Okay, so if if the way that she doesn't age is that her cells don't regenerate as quickly, theoretically, the regenesis taking over the scar tissue could go slower, causing her to still have scars after 20 some mm. years. Mm-hmm. I think I'm not a biologist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say we're getting super scientific. I don't know. Kind of. It's like our science. Our bitch. Chair it, was science. Like, it was like you Bam. guys asking me, like, why do you think that they did the biometric thing? Because that's what I do when I play D&D type stuff. Like, I don't know. <laughs> you know? Uh, but. You gotta think of the details. You gotta think of how I would do things when I play Star Wars Edge of Empire. Um, but I don't know. I think that there's. I think that there are two options. The they brought her to me. There are more options than this. There are two <laughs> options to me. That the genetic council, the elders, whoever it is, brought her back. Mm-hmm. There are three options. That she grew back herself. I, mean, I skipped that one. And the third one is that uh, Cal rebuilt her. That Cal oh, has been putting is... her back together because he loves her so very, very much. And then that but makes total sense. He can have like his own yeah. Frankenstein kind of thing. Because because he's Mr. Hyde. He's obviously been finding Sky for them. He says, I found her like I promised. But he also says to Gordon early in the episode, after everything I've done, you treat me like an animal? Did they bring him here and let him live because he could fix Sky's mom? Hmm. Oh, so like, yeah. He cl- he clearly lived in but that I was, in that I... village that uh, Whitehall went to, yes. and I and I'm pretty sure that there were a significant amount of the population that were in humans. Mm-hmm. So he probably was a doctor there. That's probably why they let him into their community, and that's really good though. I really like that because that can that makes total sense. But don't you think his like him. reactions and his crazy revenge and being so upset he didn't get the guy that like killed him himself? Yeah, I'm saying know? he didn't. I'm driven saying he, mad. I'm saying he didn't rebuild her until after he got to afterlife. Oh, that would have been real fast. Yeah, and wouldn't she have had to been rebuilt? I would think soon after if she does massacre. If right. she doesn't, isn't that kind of part of it? If she doesn't age, does she decompose at the same rate? Oh. Well, if she's been drained out of all her blood and stuff like that. Well, that's a big question, mm-hmm. and yeah. hopefully they'll answer it in the yeah. next few episodes. That'll be awesome. Yeah. It looks like next week is going to be kind of like a flashback episode. A lot. Maybe, We're going to find yeah. out about Bahrain. It looks May. like we're hoping. Yeah. Um, but so. uh, Kayla, weigh in. What do you think about Mama Sky? I'm definitely going to disagree with the theory that Cal put back together Sky's mom because I feel like that is one way too soon if that actually happened. I feel like she would need much more time mentally and physically to come back to real world some like time in rehab or something because um, that's a pretty traumatic experience for somebody to be put back together. So I, I don't think the timeline, the timelines fit correctly in 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 that. 
Um, another thing is I was talking to, I was chatting with somebody online and, um, this might be a really like far out theory, but I like it because I like the twist of it. Um, what if that's not really Sky's mom and it's like, uh, a, a member of the elders, um, AKA the genetic council, because I'm thinking it's the genetic council, um, AKA the genetic council. What if somebody, um, from there disguise themselves or like has the ability to like make themselves look like some, somebody else. Um, what if they disguise themselves as Sky's mom purely for them to, um, uh, because they know the connection that, uh, her, that the mom, I can't remember her name has with Cal and of course Sky because I think the genetic council know that Sky is. I, I don't want to say a th I don't want to say a threat, but a threat to exposure um, of their kind to the rest of the world. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, that theory might be true that one of them is disguise disguise themselves to look like Sky's mom, but it may be a little far out. Maybe a little too much too too in too much of a twist for right now. I mean, we already got the twist that she's alive, so to put another twist on top of that, I don't know. But I'm interested in finding out how she is alive and um, what's up with... I mean, did somebody put her to get back together? I don't know. I, I actually am glad that she brought that up because I think that's what was bothering me mm -hmm. about um, some of these theories is that it's Sky's mom, if it is her, like seems like she's been around a long time. Yeah, like, fair. she definitely, the way she talked, and she shot. seems like a part of the community. Yeah. Like, you no, know, she's been there for a while. If she was rebuilt, it was right after her death. Is she's my a celebrity, theory. if you will. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... I don't really think very she's... Very well known. A local she, celebrity. She's but, not the Kim Kardashian of the Inhumans people. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No, no, a local Keeping small town celebrity. Sky's mom. <laughs> but I like I like the theory that uh, she might not be actually Sky's mom as somebody disguised as her because they want to keep I that mean, we familiarity. Have that technology, but it's still but familiar, familiarity she, for who? It doesn't even have to be the technology because it could just Sky be doesn't know it's her mom. That, uh, it just could be another inhuman that uh, can transform herself. Yeah, I, oh, that's true. That's all. I just yeah, it feels cheap to me. Like, yeah. oh, Sky's mom's back. It wasn't me at all. It mm. feels uh, like... It feels it's not... healing. Yeah. It, yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't I don't feel really very... feel like Scooby-Dooing my way through the Elder's right. Council. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want to do the old switcheroo kind of thing. There's just... They, they've been doing so well, I would feel like a... <laughs> reveal would be so season one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if, if, <laughs> if, if I've killed Mark, if handled correctly, I could see it happening, but I, it just, it feels, it would have to it, really be handled correctly for me is what yeah, feels wrong. without feeling like the end of a Scooby-Doo episode. Yeah. I yeah. agree. I'm just oh, really man, glad season, or a season one episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, the other thing I want to mention very briefly because there's not really, we can theorize all day. And one of our followers was Easy. like, how are you guys going to talk about this in one episode? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have no idea the editing process that goes on in my brain when I'm like, what are we going to talk about? There's so much cool stuff on the show. Um, is we know what we're about to get to is the coolest team up I think we've seen in a while on this show is Phil Coulson, Lance Hunter, uh, Deathlock, who came uh, back in the coolest uh, way possible. That's right. I forgot he was coming back this this season, and he like grabs the he grabs the uh, ramp, and I'm just like, is it the Hulk? It's the Hulk. Oh my god! <laughs> For a second, there was like, oh, but the fingers were. Yeah, I was like, who's strong enough to pull down a plane? Agent uh, Deathlock and Deathlock, awesome. Half of the characters um, in the Marvel universe. And, yeah, shut up. <laughs> and, Sure. Uh, Civil War is happening right now. Uh, and then they're teaming up with, uh, and we didn't get very many votes. Guys, you can still vote. Name the team. Grant Ward. What's your favorite oh. team? Agent 33 and Bakshi. So uh, this team up of three and three. Brainwashed Bakshi. Yeah. Well, well we maybe. I we don't know exactly what they did. name for them. That's a great idea. I know. We need to come up with a name for this team. Yes, we definitely do because I love the desperate measures that they're taking. And I am so excited because they didn't reconcile. Coulson and, and Ward didn't reconcile, really, at the end of the first half of the mm, season. Yeah. He was shot, and Coulson booked it, like, to, to try to save Sky. So there's... 
and then Deathlock and Ward have a history as well, yeah. and Hunter is hysterical, so he's there. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be a very, like, unstable... Thank God he is. It's going to be a very unstable group, a lot but of, they're all very capable. Yeah, it's a lot of wonderful and differently specialized people. It is it is kind of like the mirror universe version of his original team at the beginning of season one because you've got yeah like this really diverse group of it's people. It's a very suicide Suicide Squad type team. Yes, I know wrong universe. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to be like Shield Dark or something. Yeah, like it's that. A Shield Dark <laughs> for those days. Close his comrades. Close <laughs> <Cole's laughs> <Cole's laughs> <Cole's laughs> of team get names dark. today. <laughs> I'm good at that. So I'm I'm super excited about that. I I could sit here and talk about the things that I think they're going to do and the inevitable buildings that they're going to blow up, but Am I waste all of our time. Yeah, exactly. you can only imagine, but it's <laughs> awesome that it's actually happening. So let's go ahead and take it to the Twitter box for one last question. Let's see what you want Come us on. to talk about. Our nerd shout out to end this episode comes from at by seven the seven C. And, uh, which is Susan Andrews. Which is Susan Andrews. Yeah. And Susan <laughs> asks us, and I'm going to open this up to the whole community, who would win in a showdown between Lincoln and Deathlock? Lincoln, science, who has electrical powers, and Deathlock, who is a newly upgraded cyborg. Right. Will the elect? Hold on. Ooh. What are you gonna say? With the rockets that he has. With the well? rockets. Oh my god. I know oh, that's right. Those rockets are pretty cool. Yeah. I'm thinking though, Lincoln. Right he he looks like he has black widows. He looks like he has rain on his powers, yeah. but. <laughs> he's not trained as an agent. <laughs> so I'm just throwing that out there. Deathlock can read and find every single person's mm -hmm. uh, weaknesses with a scanner before the battle even begins, essentially, now. Yeah, he knows how to do that. He's also half computer, and this guy controls electricity. That's like, true. Like, I know. I he know. already knows his weakness because he's half that weakness. I know. <laughs> Visually. You but can what see if it. he blows him up before let's see what, he uses his power? Let's see I'm what, just being devil's advocate. Oh, I know, but let's see what yeah. Kayla has to say. Kayla, are you Team Lincoln or Team Deathlock? Deathlock versus Lincoln. I'm going to have to say Deathlock because he's badass and I love the costume change. But I have my speculations because I feel like Lincoln can definitely short circuit Deathlock in a fight. But Deathlock's badass, so he's going to win. Yeah, Deathlock. I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so here's how I'm going to put sense. it. I'm going to open it up to you guys, because will the magical electrical man take out the cyborg, or will Ooh. technology harness the power of electrons to reign supreme? Join us next time on the same shield channel, same shield time. I've always wanted to do that. I was going to say, is that a throw out to <laughs> Batman 66? Go, At Batman 66. Just Batmania a cool 66. podcast. Batmania 66. We've both been on it. Yes, um, we have. But keep sending us these awesome questions. Send us uh, hashtag Team Lincoln, hashtag Team Deathlock, hashtag Team Hunter, if you think he's going to come in and beat them both. Uh, whatever you whatever you want Just to see. hashtag guys. Team Lincoln for whatever reason you want. <laughs> Let's work on Lincoln's <laughs> lobbyists for Mark. For all the reasons you want to. Thank you to all of you who have been super supportive to us over here at Nerd Chat. Thank you to Level 7 uh, Podcast. You can find them at Level 7 Access Pod on Twitter. Thank you to our friends the Ward Warriors uh, whose fantastic alliteration has inspired Mark in wonderful <laughs> ways and uh, we are super excited to talk to you guys next week when we get to see Ward and Coulson back together. Uh, I'm sure we're going to be talking a bunch about that. And... Thank you, as always, to our good friends over at Shield Radio. You can find them at, at Shield Radio on Twitter, or you can find them at www. Uh, help! No, no, <laughs> I messed it up for the first time in like eight months. All right, at www.helicarrierpodcast.com, <laughs> and you can definitely see all of the very, very cool stuff that they're talking about. They're friends of us. We love the conversation. If you like what we do, check them out. Also, <laughs> if you don't know this. Daredevil comes out this week. It's oh. Friday. It's Friday. So, you know? That's right. I forgot. I lost track Friday. Of you're a professional. All space and time. Uh, but let us know if you're excited for Daredevil, what you're excited to see, and maybe we'll talk to you guys about it. Yeah. You're on Nerd Shout, perhaps. We don't know. We've got something going. Probably. Uh, <laughs> so thank you guys very, very much. And remember, as always, we want to hear your Nerd Shout. 
Ooh, yeah. yeah. Shot! <laughs> Bye, guys. Peace out. <laughs> you just have to do them all like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm an actor, I'm an actor, I'm an actor, I'm an actor. Uh, the right. um, parallel between I would prefer them to be the Xavier Institute versus the Brotherhood of Evil, right. um, which are not my words, but uh, were a commenter's. Um, and I agree with that. I don't mind if their leadership is flawed and scared and hides and is a little insidious that way, but I don't want everyone. Like, Lincoln's obviously doing his job. Yeah, he's doing what, what he thinks mean. to keep people safe. Yeah. And doing it well. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark. pro Lincoln. LincolnLobbyist.com. No. But I mean, uh, like, he didn't, like, the, like, we realized how evasive he was being in the yeah. comment that he's he very made. very suave but, in the way that he was But it was so it. smooth. Yeah. yeah. But even so Scott, I mean. a spy, yeah. didn't but, notice it. So I, I think that they're not, there's, they're, I don't think that they're evil at this point. No, I think they're scared. They're either scared or they've 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 grown to be so isolationist mm -hmm. to be like another part living in parallel to the rest of humanity that it serves them much better yeah. to, you know, not live out in the open. Mm -hmm. Which is I think is interesting right now because the groups that we have like Real Shield, Shield, and the Inhumans, it feels like all of these teams, what they seem to be setting up is that they all think they're doing the right thing. Yes. Right. Like, they Absolutely. all think they're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I think is really interesting. Um, and so none of them are necessarily bad or wrong yeah. right now. They just have this order. That's why they have the royal family as well. They yeah. have this kind of order hierarchy. If um, that theory might be true, that one of them is disguise, disguise themselves to look like Sky's mom, but... It may be a little far out, maybe a little too much, too, too, in, too much of a twist for right now. I mean, we already got the twist that she's alive, so to put another twist on top of that, I don't know. But I'm interested in finding out how she is alive and um, what's up with, I mean, did somebody put her to get back together? I don't know. I, I actually am glad that she brought that up because I think that's what was bothering me mm -hmm. about... Um, some of these theories is that it's Sky's mom, if it is her, like seems like she's been around a long time. Yeah, like fair. she definitely the way she talked and she shot. seems like a part of the community. Yeah. Like you no, know, she's been there for a while. If she was rebuilt, it was right is, after yeah. her death. Is she's my a celebrity, theory. if you will. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I don't really think very she's well like, known. A local she, celebrity. She's not the Kim Kardashian of the Inhumans. People. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No, no, a local Keeping small up with town celebrity. Sky's mom. <laughs> but I like I like the theory that uh, she might not be actually Sky's mom, as somebody disguised as her because they want to keep weird. that I mean, we familiarity. Have that technology, but it's still but familiar, familiarity she, for who? It doesn't even have to be the technology because it Sky be doesn't know it's her mom. That, uh, it just could be another inhuman that uh, can transform herself. Yeah, I, oh, that's true. That's all. I just yeah. It feels cheap to me almost, and be like, "Whoa, you broke character. What's happening?" <laughs> it might. It I'm out of here. It, that might be coming, or it might be that this is where she's going to be. She's going to be riding the line the whole time because Maybe. which is she understands both sides. Like she gets both sides right. and is just trying to do what's best for. The world, yeah. <laughs> which I think to is save really the world. Yeah, and I think I mean like with this course that they've taken with her character, I I can I, I can almost from my perspective guarantee that she's going to be in the next season. Oh yeah, of the oh, show. oh yeah. yeah. Like unless they move her to the movies and then she doesn't come. Right. Back. Like yeah, they're just like she, you know what don't we do realize she's a movie star. <laughs> Not yet. At least <laughs> one more year of Mockingbird on this show. Yeah. She she yeah. elevates it a lot. Yeah. And I really love I really right. love this line that she's treading. It's almost like kind of having this you know Spider Man in Civil War kind of mm -hmm. being yeah. you know pulled into both sides. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I really you know, love exactly. that with her. She's yeah. a great character and yeah just keep it going. Guys. Kayla, oh dear Kayla, what do you think about Bobby and where she's gonna stand 
on the uh, shield versus shield combat currently going on. Hitler. Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! 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 This whole like Bobby and um, Bobby situation on Angel Shield, I really, l I'm really loving to see that Bobby ultimately like is not liking what Gonzalez is doing. Uh, once she last the the council know that Sky is, I, I don't want to say a I don't want to say a threat, but a threat to exposure um, of their kind to the rest of the world. So I wouldn't be surprised if. Um, that theory might be true that one of them is disguise, disguise themselves to look like Sky's mom, but it may be a little far out, maybe a little too much, too, too, in, too much of a twist for right now. I mean, we already got the twist that she's alive, so to put another twist on top of that, I don't know, but I'm interested in finding out how she is alive and, um, what's up with, I mean, did somebody put her to get back together? I don't know. I, I actually am glad that she brought that up because I think that's what was bothering me mm -hmm. about um, some of these theories is that it's Sky's mom, if it is her, like seems like she's been around a long time. Yeah, like fair. she definitely the way she talked and she shot. seems like a part of the community. Yeah. Like you no, know, she's been there for a while. If she was rebuilt, it was right after her death. Is she's my a celebrity, theory. if you will. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I don't really think very she's well the, known, a local she, celebrity. She's not the Kim Kardashian of the Inhumans people. <laughs> Woo! No, no, a local Keeping small up town with celebrity. Sky's mom. <laughs> but I like I like the theory that uh, she might not be actually Sky's mom, as somebody disguised as her because they want to keep I mean, that familiarity. Like we realized how evasive he was being in the yeah. comment. Mm -hmm. He's very made, suave but, in the way that he was But it was doing. so smooth. Yeah. yeah. But even so that's what I meant. a spy yeah. didn't but, notice it. So I, I think that they're not... There's, they're, I don't think that they're evil at this point. No, I think they're scared. They're either scared or they're, they've, they've grown to be so isolationist, mm -hmm. to be like another part living in parallel to the rest of humanity, that it serves them much better yeah. to you know, not live out in the open. Mm. Which is, I think is interesting right now because the groups that we have, like Real Shield, Shield, and the Inhumans, it feels like all of these teams, what they seem to be setting up is that they all think they're doing the right thing. Yes. Right. Like, they Absolutely. all think they're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I think is really interesting. Um, and so none of them are necessarily bad or wrong yeah. right now. They just have this order. That's why they have the royal family as well. They yeah. have this kind of order, hierarchy, um, or oligarchy, if you and will. And I have a question about that, because I'm not super well-versed on humans. So, like... Is the royal family, like, is is there a bunch of inhuman communities that are isolationist in the comic books? Well, they're, they live like, among... I mean, that are separated in the comic books, but then, like, there's a royal family that kind of keeps track of all of them? Essentially, or, like, they come, from, they come from a very long bloodline of very pure in, in, you know, inhumans from, from the very past, from the very mm -hmm. beginning of the first experiments that existed. And so, Thine otherwise, monster, but she looks like she was awesome. put back together, and I think that's a conscious choice. Yeah, like I was gonna say, because she was like skinned basically, and like they mm -hmm. took all of her organs out of her. And because what I was gonna say is that, like for example, Wade Wilson, Deadpool, he's covered in scars. His heal his healing factor is not does not repair or replenish the skin that Wade's healing factor. Wade's healing factor was given to him later, wasn't it? I mean, it could have equally have have cured though though yeah. that it was that like stuff. given to him so he would but survive. not all of them not all of the scars are created a lot of the scars mm -hmm. remain basically his tish, tissue regrows but you still see the marks on yeah him. that's why he's constantly always covered yeah as well i don't i don't know i feel like she she was put back together i feel like that perhaps she's needed or I mean, if I'm gonna look at this super scientifically, mm. which is what I did last episode, <laughs> if she is put back together, she has had, what are we aging Sky at, 20 some years? Sure. Let's say mid 20, like a 20 and a half years around. No. So. Daisy didn't like that answer. <laughs> Daisy's, Daisy's like, she's science. like, ah, oh, she's no. 30, she's a day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my dog chimed in. <laughs> she she just groans when she's unhappy. Yeah. She doesn't agree. Um, We're afraid 
Um, they're probably afraid. I take that back. I think um, the Inhumans, whoever's controlling them, which I'm guessing is the, the the elders or the genetic council, I think they definitely want to keep the Inhumans isolated. Uh, but we know that's gonna not going to last very long because we do have an Inhumans movie com- coming out in a few years. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree. Now, since we're talking about the Inhumans, we cannot skip over the giant revelation that is Sky's mom still being around. And one of the big questions on our Twitter box, we got several versions of this question, so let's go ahead and check it out. The one I want to read, because it has so many reactions in it, and I love it, comes from at Theo F. Simon. And Theo says, barely alive, how is Sky's mother alive? Two question marks. I'm so happy about it, but how? Two question marks. How do you think Sky will find out? Single question mark. Well, she's going to tell him. So here's the deal. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think it's going to happen next episode. I think it's going to happen next episode because she says, I want a couple days with you, and if you don't feel a connection worth exploring. But the, the, the question is, we discussed this a little bit last episode, how is she still here? Well, this is what I said last episode, Mm -hmm. that I think that she has the equivalent of the healing factor that um, Wolverine has, and that's what helped her grow. Rip bubble. Or I was just going to say Coulson survived death. What I also wanted to be the same way. Exactly. Um, Which I'm guessing is the the, the elders or the genetic council. I think they definitely want to keep the Inhumans isolated. Uh, but we know that's gonna not going to last very long because we do have an Inhumans movie com- coming out in a few years. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I 100% agree. Now, since we're talking about the Inhumans, we cannot skip over the giant revelation that is Sky's mom yeah. still being around. And one of the big questions on our Twitter box, we got several versions of this question, so let's go ahead and check it out. The one I want to read because it has so many reactions in it, yeah. and I love it, comes from at... Theo F. Simon. And Theo says, Barely alive, how is Sky's mother alive? Two question marks. I'm so happy about it, but how? Two question marks. <laughs> how do you think Sky will find out? Single question mark. Well, she's going to tell him. So here's the deal. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think it's going to happen next episode. I think it's going to happen next episode because she says, I want a couple days with you, and if you don't feel a connection worth exploring... But the, the, the question is, we discussed this a little bit last episode, how is she still here? Well, this is what I said last episode, Mm -hmm. that I think that she has the equivalent of the healing factor that um, Wolverine has, and that's what helped her grow. Rib bubble. Or I was just going to say Coulson survived death. Why wouldn't it be the same way? Exactly. That's what I also wanted to add. Because because they were created by the Kree as well, I'd assume that the... Technology, but it's still... But familiarity for... Who? It doesn't even have to be the technology. Because it just Sky be doesn't know it's her mom. That, uh, it just could be another inhuman that uh, can transform herself. Yeah. I, no, that's true. That's all. I just... Like, yeah. It feels cheap to me. Like, yeah. <gasps> Sky's mom's back. It wasn't me at all. It mm. feels uh, like... <laughs> It feels Jane not. Healing. Yeah, it, yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't I don't feel really very... feel like Scooby Dooing my way through the Elder's right. Council. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want to do the old switcheroo kind of thing. There's just they. They've been doing so well. I would feel like a <laughs> reveal would be so season one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if <laughs> if, hand, if hand, I've killed Mark, if handled correctly, I could see it happening. But I, it just it fe- it would have to it, really be handled correctly for me. Is what yeah, feels wrong. without feeling like the end of a Scooby Doo. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I'm just oh, really watching season four, a season one episode. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, the other thing I want to mention very briefly. Because there's not really... We can theorize all day. And one of our followers was Easy. like, how are you guys going to talk about this in one episode? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have no idea the editing process that goes on in my brain when I'm like, what are we going to talk about? There's so much cool stuff on the show. Um, is we know what we're about to get to is the coolest team up I think we've seen in a while on this show is Phil Coulson, Lance Hunter, uh, Deathlock, who came uh, back in the coolest uh, way possible. That's right. I forgot he was coming back this this season. People safe and they're do we think they're the genetic council? And what do they think and what do we think they're up to? Um I'm starting to feel and I mean I think this that's why I favorite. brought that's why I brought up um, Sky's mom first because I'm so excited she's back. I think she is the equivalent of their genetic co- council of this mm-hmm. group's genetic council. If uh-huh. not if not 
like the entire member, the entire you know group of people, because she's just one person, you know. Um, then maybe she is part of the, the actual genetic council in the comic books, mm -hmm. but she represents this group of Inhumans, I think, and that's mm -hmm. why she said to Cal's, no. She made the final decision, which mm -hmm. is, can I see her? She just said no. She said it very cold. Yeah. Yeah. So she is a person that's making clearly <laughs> and making scene. the decision. <laughs> yeah, exactly. End of scene. <laughs> She's the person making the decisions yeah. in this in, in this place. So I think that she is uh, who we're going with. I think I think we're dealing with an isolationist government with people who maybe with you know, people who maybe aren't as isolationist. I was having a conversation on, on the YouTube comments on last week's episode mm. about, I don't want them to be bad guys. We made the uh, the right. um, parallel between, I would prefer them to be the Xavier Institute versus the Brotherhood of Evil, right. um, which are not my words, but uh, were a commenter's. Um, and I agree with that. I don't mind if their leadership is flawed and scared and hides and is a little insidious that way, but I don't want everyone. Like, Link Earth too. What do you think, kiddo? Oh, Fitzsimmons. I think all of us were just super happy inside when Fitzsimmons was them, was their usual sel selves again. It's just the thing that, um, I mean, is this going to last for the long haul or is this just like a temporary thing because they obviously needed to like come together to try to get out of the situation with real shield. So I'm really interested in seeing if like this whole Fitzsimmons dynamic is permanent or they're just like ignoring their problems for now and then they'll deal with it later i don't know but i love it um all of us love it especially that sandwich situation was hilarious um the thing that i'm wondering though i felt like um you guys mentioned it i felt like mac did um smell a little bit of bullshit when um fitz and simmons were doing their whole spiel and a whole like argument I, I felt like mac probably knew a little bit maybe he wasn't completely convinced and mac and fitz are friends and well well used to be friends but mac cares about fitz so i'm wondering if fitz is going to end up i mean not fitz if mac is going to um or did put a tracker on fitz and just to keep an eye on him and when they figure out that the um, toolbox is gone, uh, Mac will go after Fitz. Uh, maybe that's a possibility, but um, I guess...